Today, you're gonna to go ahead and complete your Yellow Jackets Mastery Assessment. So before completing this assessment, let's take a look at the directions and expectations that you will need to follow for this assessment. The first thing you're gonna to need to do is make sure you can locate your code tracing chart by clicking on the My Documents above. Once you find that button and click on My Documents, you should be able to see your code tracing chart for your Yellow Jackets. Notice that the code column has already been filled in for you, but the outcome and correct columns are left blank. You will need to complete these as you go through your code tracing chart process. Your objective and bug also need to be completed and they need to be identified by using the program that is located in MakeCode. Down below, you will see that you have a buggy program and you will need to insert a corrected code program screenshot for your program once it is completed. Now, once you've reviewed your code tracing chart, we need to make sure that we take a look at a few different items here. This is a mastery assessment and you may use any resources that are found in your Schoology course. This assessment must be completed by the assigned due date. You will also notice that down at the bottom of your Schoology page, there has been a rubric that has been attached for you to view. Your block view has already been added for you. There is nothing you need to do. You will automatically receive 30 points for that part of the assignment. The objective or objectives must be clearly written and address the program's overall objective. Remember that you can find your objective in the event handler within the program. Any bug or bugs that are in the program must also be clearly identified and listed on the code tracing chart. From here, you will need to go through each line of code and find out what the outcome is and list that in the appropriate box. All outcomes should be listed and can be found in each block's comment section within the code. Once you have the outcomes written down, you will need to identify whether that program's line of code works by using the yes or no feature. Once you have finished your program, go back and add a corrected screenshot into your code tracing chart. Now that we're ready to begin, let's go ahead and take a look at our Yellow Jackets mastery hex file. And once we locate that at the bottom of our Schoology page, you're gonna need to go and click on download. That's gonna download your file into your download manager. We don't need to do anything with that. We can just click out of it. And once we do that, we are now ready to go into MakeCode and import that file in. So you can use the link in your directions to click on and open up your make code. And from here, we should be able to go to import. We're gonna select import file. From here, we'll select choose file. And then from here, we're gonna go to our recent tab where we should be able to find that mastery assessment. Once we click on recent, it'll take a minute. Your file will pop up we will be able to select that file and then go ahead and click on open. Into MakeCode, the first thing you should do is make sure you check to see what is actually going on. So here we can see that right now we have basically one eye open, nothing's really run yet, and it shouldn't because we're using an on B button pressed event handler. So if we press the B button on our micro bit, we should see that it's gonna run through the code and here it looks like the person's left eye is blinking on and off for a period of four times. So everything may seem like it's working correctly, but we do need to identify what the program objective is. And we can do that by clicking on the comment button on the event handler for on B button pressed. Here it's telling me that my objective is that both eyes on the smiley face blink or turn on then off six times when the A and B button is pressed. After blinking, the smiley face has both eyes open. So obviously what our objective is telling us is not what's actually happening on the micro bit. So there is our objective. The next thing we're gonna wanna go ahead and check is my repeat loop. Here it's telling me that my repeat loop, both eyes should blink at the same time on and off for six times. So here we can see we have four versus six. So we have to determine which one is correct. For the show LEDs, we have both eyes are open. We have a pause block. The pausing is for 100 milliseconds. We have another show LED, which is both eyes are closed. And then we have another pause block here, which is pausing for 100 milliseconds. So now that we know what our objective is, 
we need to go through and correct any bugs that are in our program by identifying them on our code tracing chart. Once we do that, we're going to go ahead and correct the actual program and take that screenshot and add it to my submission file. Once you have completed everything, please make sure you submit so that it can be graded. We'll be going over the answers at the end of our next class.